Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 2 of this RMS Campania tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's main hull, which is the black section over there on the prototype. Uh, also included is two decks of the uh, well, two decks of the ship and also the inside corridors of that open promenade there on the ship's hull. Uh, the, the design of the ship gets a bit complicated towards the stern, but hopefully with my unique <laughs> building style we'll be able to get through it. So uh, we'll get to that when we... Uh, cross that bridge or cross that bridge when we get to it as the saying goes but anyway we're going to start with the front end of the ship and we're going to start by oh, I've already added the signs but it's the same process as we've done with the red section down below I've added signs going from 0 to 17 out that way and 0 to 17 going out that way it just makes building a lot easier so we're going to start uh, with section 0 and we're going to build the black hole upwards we're going to start by going straight up 7 so on the on zero we go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four. One, two, three, four. So that's the first section uh, on zero. Now after the after uh, I think section two, the hull will drop down in height. Uh, if you look over there on the prototype, the hull starts at a uh, certain height there where the crosshairs is, and it goes down a couple of blocks, and then further back it will drop a couple of blocks as well. But that is something for later on just focus on the front section for now so that's zero done and there will also be a yellow line added at a later date but that's not a problem just now anyway on to section one the section one we want to go up eight one two three four five six seven eight and then nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's section zero and one and then we move on to section two and <coughs> just change my notes so for section two we want to go up four one two three four and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go again. And now we move on to section three. Section three, we want to go up four, one, two, three, four, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two. And there we go. And that's dropped down in height by one block as well. So that is that section there. Now we move on to number four. Let's change my notes. So section four, we want to go up five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, one like so. And anyway, that drops down in height again by one block. Now that should be the full height of the hull officially, because these, these are just sort of cosmetic changes. This is the main hull height, and it should be 14, so I'll just double check it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to count it with white. So hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. And then one, two. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fine. So that's fourteen in height. That's that's the, the height we want. Anyway, that was section four done. So now we're on to number five. For number five, we want to go up four. One, two, three, four. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. Five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then three, one, two, three, and then one, like so. And that's that section there. Now we're on to number six. Number six, we want to go up, uh, for up two. Sorry, so go up one, two, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two, and then two, and then one, like so. And you see the hull, hull is starting to curve forward. All right, so that was number six. Now we're on to number seven. And for number seven, we want to go up three, one, two, three, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two, and then one. And there we go, that's that section there. Now we're on to number eight. <coughs> number eight, we want up four, one, two, three, four, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and one one like so and there we go and then we move on to number nine number nine we want uh, up three one two three and then four one two three four four again one two three four and four again one two three four and then two two and one like so so that was section nine now we're on to number ten so we're getting there uh, number ten we want to go up four one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, and one, 
like so. That's that section there. <clears throat> now we're on to number 11, and it's the same again, up four, one, two, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, and one, like so. <clears throat> and that's that one done. Now we're on to number 12. And for number 12, we want to go up three. One, one, two, three. And then four. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three, and one. Like so. And that's that section there. Now we're on to number 13, which is slightly different. So just get the 13. And we want to go forward two. So forward one, two. And then up three. One, two, three. And then four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, and one. Like so, and that's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 14, and we want to go up two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and one. Like so, and that's the same height again. Now we're on to number 15. I'm going to change my notes, bear with me. Number 15, we want to go forward two, so one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and one. And that's the same height again, that's fine. Now we're on to number 16. <coughs> number 16, we want to go forward two, one, two, and then up four, one, two, three, four, and then four again, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and one. There we go. And that's the same height again, that's fine. And then finally, on to number 17, we want to go forward two, and then up four, one, two, three, four. And then four again, one, two, three, four. Four again, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, two, one, two. And that's it. And that should be the same height again. Can't really tell from this distance, but it looks roughly the same height. And there we go. That is all 17 sections plus the zero done. And you do the same on the other side, and it should be fine. So once you've done that, it should, in theory, look something like that. Another rib cage uh, design. That uh, no real big deal there. And as per usual, you go on the inside now. Start at the front, go on the inside, and just fill in the gaps. So do the other side first if you want to, and then come and fill in the gaps. Or if you're using well, did it like me, and just copy paste it, and you have no problems. But uh, I shall fill in the fill in the gaps first on this section. Fill in the first few anyway, and then I'll uh, do the jump cut. And uh, we shall move on. And then the next section. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a cold. And I'll do one more section and then we'll move on. Well, I'll do a jump cut anyway. La 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 There we go, there's the first few sections done. And the hull of the ship should start to look sort of like that. And from the front. You have got a well, not really a, a, a bigger curve as what could it could be, but you know it's not too bad. Anyway, that's the first few sections done. So what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my usual jump cut, fill in all the gaps, and then we'll move on to the back end. So um, back in a moment. Right, back again. I've filled in all the gaps of the ship's hull, and it should look something like that, uh, one side at least. Anyway, so that is that section all done. Uh, look at it from the front. It should sort of like that but I've only done one side of course so I'm just, just going to quickly copy flip and paste it to the other side and then we can move on to the back end so we go copy flip and paste and there we go that's both sides done and from the front it should sort of look like that but uh, from any other angle it should be fine so that is the uh, bow front end of the ship done for the moment there's still a bit more to do uh, concerning the uh, open area on the side but we'll worry about that later on First of all, we're going to go down to <coughs> excuse me, the back end of the ship. And as before, I have added the signs going from 0 to 17, from the centre outwards. And we're going to start at 17. We're going to start from the outside and work our way in towards the centre. This is something I normally do. 
Uh, don't know why, but it's the way I've sort of worked it. So we're going to start at 17 and work our way towards zero. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what we're going to do on 17, we're going to go forward. Well, well, when I say forward, I mean back. Okay. So anyway, on 17 we go forward two, and then up two, like so, and then up three. One, two, three, three again. One, two, three, and then uh, three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then forward three, one, two, three, like that. And that is uh, row 17, like so. Now I move on to section 16, which is slightly more different because it's going to go and form the overhang of the stern. So let's get our bits of paper ready. So for section 16, we want to go up two, so up one, two, and then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then four rows of two, so one, two, one, two one two one two and then forward two like so and then eight one one two three four five six seven eight and then nine one two three four five six seven eight nine nine again one two three four five six seven eight nine and then eight one two three four five six seven eight so that's building it upwards done now what we're going to do is go on the inside of that row of uh, eight and we're going to build a row of 11. So on the inside, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then on the inside of that, we go 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 5. 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> and then 3. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And then we want uh, five rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then inwards two, one, two. And then we add one block and then a coloured centre block, like so. And that should be directly over the centre. I can't really tell from this angle, but I believe that is directly over the keel, basically. And yeah, that's fine. So that once you do the other side, uh, build the other or the same on the other side it should connect and join onto that center block in the middle there like so so there we are that color block basically is the center line so that is that section there so that was section 16 and before we move on to section 14 or 15 whichever we're going to go back over to uh where is it this top row here where the this, i think it's this top row of eight yeah this top row of eight which is the very hot the toilet or the very highest point so that row of eight there what we're going to do there we're going to build backwards, or build forwards rather, towards the front of the ship on this point here. So from this, the end of the row of eight, where the row of eight connects to the row below it, we're going to build forward 22. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, like so. So it's twenty-two forward like that. And then we want to go down two, one, two, like that. And I think that's it really. There's nothing else really to worry about. I think we just add one more block there. So it's down two and in one. Like so, so down two, two and one. So down two, one, and then put another block there, like so. Uh, and it should look something like that. And nothing special, it's not really that well designed. <laughs> but uh, when that's done, it should all be fine. Because this is basically the opening for the uh, open promenade section. This sort of this end here will be the very back end of it. If you look where the crosshairs are on the prototype, that's roughly where this section is. So where that open promenade ends, which is where this section is. So so once again, at that row of eight at the top, you build forward 22, and you build down two, and then add one and one block. So it's these two blocks you add, so one there and one there, like so. And it should look something like that. <clears throat> anyway, enough of the bullshit, let's move on to the next row. Let's go to row number 15. And I'll change my notes to uh, coincide with it. Uh, for section 15, we want to go forward two, so one, two, like so, and then up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, two again, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then nine again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, five six seven eight and then change the direction on the inside we add ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 again, 1, 2, 3, and then 4 rows of 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then inwards 2, and then 1, and then one colour block in the middle, and it should look something like that. <clears throat> Nothing special, but once again, it's the same sort of process as the top one, but uh, a row down and one block in, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so that was section 15. Now we move on to section 14, which is also very complicated. So for section 14, we want to go up 2, so up 1, 2. Uh, and then up three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then forward two, and then forward nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then eleven, one, two, three, shit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then change the direction on the inside, we add six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then four, one, two, three, four. Four again, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> and then three, one, two, three. Three again, one, two, three. And then three rows are two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then inwards two. And then one plus the colored block in the middle. And it should look something like that. So that was uh, that's 17, 16, and no, 16, 15, and 14 done there. 17 is the very far end over there. Right, now move on to number 13. And change my notes again. So for section 13, we want to go forward 2. So forward 1, 2. And then up 2, uh, no, up 3, sorry. 1, 2, 3. Um, and then 3 again. One, one, two, three, And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, and then forward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then four, uh, inside we go six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then four, one, two, three, four. Four again, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, one, two, three. Three again, one, two, three. And then two, one, two, two again, one, two. And then two inwards, one, two. And then one plus the color block, like so. And there we go. Make sure they're all lined up. <coughs> Excuse me. And it should look something like that. So that was section 13, now we're on to section 12. <coughs> Excuse me. So for section 12, change my notes, bear with me. Section 12, we want to go forward two, so one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the inside we add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, three, four. And then uh, three. One, two, three. And then two. One, two. Two again. One, two. And then inwards two. One, two. And then one plus the color block, like so. And there we are. That's the same again. And as you get down to this section, there are there is a block gap down here, so that is fine. If it looks like that, that is fine because it's just it goes from sort of a 45 degree angle down to a sort of a, a more shallow angle. So diagonal and then slightly shallower. That's how it should be. <clears throat> so that was section 12. Now we're on to section 11. Down to here. And we're getting near the end of these awkward sections, don't worry. Uh, so for section 11, we want to go forward two. So one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then uh, two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, and then four, one, two, three, four, 
and then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then on the inside we add 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2 rows of 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, and then inwards 2, 1, 2, and then 1, plus the colour block, like so, and there we are, that's another section there and as again it gets slightly shallower so it's 45 degrees I think and then slightly shallower again <coughs> excuse me okay so that was number 11 now we're on to number 10 this should be the last section of the curvy stern bit so so, so for section 10 we want to go up three one two three and three again one two three and then two one two two again one two and then forward two one two and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the inside again we curve in with six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three. And then two, one, two. Inwards two, one, two, and then one and then the colour block and there we go that is that section there so that was section 10 and that is the last of these sort of top sections here with the, the strange curve the next section from 9 to 0 are fairly straightforward so we'll go down now down to section 9 and get my notes ready so for section 9 we want to go forward 2 so forward 1 2 and then up 2 and then up 3 1 2 3 and then 2 1 2 and then forward two, one, two, and then forward three, one, two, three. And there we go, that was that one. Now we're on to section eight, and I change my notes again. Section eight, we want to go forward two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, and then forward three, one, two, three. There we are. And now we're on to number seven. Change my notes again. Section seven, we want to go up three, one, two, three. And three again, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, and then forward four, one, two, three, four. There we go. Now we're on to section six. Let's get my notes ready again. Section six, we're going to go up four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, two again, one, two, and then forward three, one, two, three, and then forward four, one, two, three, four. Like so. Now we're on to section five. And we want to go up four. One, two, three, four. Uh, no, section five. Yeah, so up four. And then uh, two, one, two, two again. One, two. And then forward two, one, two. And then forward three. One, two, three. Like so. And now on to section four. We go up four. One, two, three, four. And then three rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, and then forward two, one, two, like that. And for section three, we go up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two, two, and then forward two, one, two, like so. Now we're on to section three, no, section two, sorry, section two, we want to go up five, one, two, three, four, five. And then two, two, and one, like so. And then section one, we go up three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, and one, like so. And then finally on section zero, we go up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two, one, two, and one, like so. And there we go, that's all the sections done in the stern. Although it looks looking weird, it should look something like that. That is one side anyway. You do the same on the other side, you know, 17 to 0, and it should look all fine. So that is how that should look. And then, as before, what we do, we go on the inside and fill in all the gaps. So just go on the inside here, and I'll start filling in the gaps. I'll leave the yellow uh, the yellow blocks on for now, but they can be removed, so they're not, they're not an issue anymore. So just go on the inside and fill in the gaps, and everything should be A-OK -okay in theory. So... Like I said, I'll do the first few sections and I'll do the usual uh, jump cut. 
to a finished article and then everything should be fine. Now to this last section and then I shall jump cut it. There we go, there's the first few sections done and we've got on the outside and it's starting to look okay. So that is the first few sections done. And like like I said, I'll do the jump cut now and fill in the rest and then we can move on. So um back in a moment. Right, back again. I filled in all the gaps of the uh, stern section and it should look something like that. Uh, I've only done one side again, so I'll do the copy pasting later on. But the main focus at the moment is this section here with the uh, the open promenade area. You've got section 17 which is that one there and then you go up to section 16 with that extra section we added there. You fill in the gaps there and it should all look something like that. So this area here, like I say, will be the uh, open promenade area. So that is that section for the moment. So what we're going to do now is fly over to the front end and we'll just do the front half or the front section of the open promenade. So we're going to go to the very uh, last section of uh, the front end. So it's section 17 of the front basically, so as it says down there, section 17 of the front. Go to the very top and we're going to build uh, back 14. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 like so. And then we build underneath that, we build down 2, 2 down like that, and then 2 again, 1, 2, and then 2 again, 1, 2. And it should be something like that. And then from the end of that row of two down at the bottom here, you're going to build a line. Uh, it should be 119, uh, but give or take a few blocks less or more. So I'm just going to build a line. I'll, I'll measure it as I go along. So I'll put the first block in, which is that one. So that's the first block. And I'll build all the way along. So it should be, well, when I measured it on the prototype, it was 119, but it could be slightly more or slightly less. But I shall build all the way forward for the minute. I'll get to 119 and see how we do. So, how many is that? That is 69. And how many is that now? That is 107. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, that is 117, 118, and 119. So, that's fine. 119, that is absolutely fine. So, that's gone right to the end there, like so, and connected to the top of section 17 on the, front, on the uh, back end. So, <clears throat> as you can see, we've got that line added, and it should look something like that. And then the space underneath, uh, in the space underneath uh, this line we just built, we just fill in all with black. So I'm going to use Weld Edit to uh, fill this in. Uh, straighten the edges off first. So you can see, build basically build from the line down all in black. So I should use, I can say the Weld Edit. Go all the way to the front. And because it's all in black, it's very difficult to see, but you can sort of get an idea on how this is meant to be. And then down to that point, I should use set uh, 251 colon 15. And that builds the side wall in that area there. And then the last few sections I fill in freehand. Like so. And there we go, that's the front half or front section done as well. So there we are, there's the uh, beginnings of the open promenade. And if I move back to a distance, you can sort of get an idea on how it's meant to look. So it's, yeah, something like that. So that's how it should look. Now what we're going to do now is move over to, uh, actually I'm going to work out how to do this. I'm going to do a copy paste now uh, for the um, other side, and then we'll get both sides out of the way then. So I'll quickly, quickly copy paste and make sure I get the other side done. So bear with me on this one, and then we can move on to the next bit, which will be adding the first deck. So I'll just fly, in, fly down to the back end, get the other side done and out the way. Down to there. So we use uh, copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go. That's both sides. So once we've got both sides in place, the stern should look something like that and you can remove the yellow blocks or the color blocks whichever color you use but they're just markers you can remove them now anyway that is the stern and the hull pretty much complete in that area there and uh, it don't look too bad so um, yeah it's alright uh, so what we're going to do now is add the first deck now the first deck is going to go at the height 
or just below the height or just below the top block of this midsection. So we're not going to go to the front end or the back end. We're going to go to the side bits where the deck, where the side of the ship has dropped by a block. And then you're going to add the deck one block below the top of this dropped section. So not the top, not the top block, but one down to there. And then you're going to add the deck from there. So remember, you're between the top, well, you're between the front and the back. You're on the uh, open promenade area, and you're going to add the deck, like I say, on the uh, one block down from the top of the midsection. So I just build all the way across, so it, it lines up fine, like so. And like I say, you just build the deck all the way forward, all the way back, and it should fill in. So I shall stand on uh, that block there and use the fill tool. So I should fill all the wood in, so bear with me on this one. So fill wood by 30 billion, whatever. And that should fill the deck in forward, back, round, left, right, whichever. And we should have the first deck in place. That's the theory anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. La 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 la. Right, back again. I had to do a jump cut there because the game crashed, so... Uh, Anyway, we've got the deck in place now, and it should look something like that. So the deck goes from back to front, front to back, whichever way you want to call it. And if I go down to deck level, you can see the deck is just one block below the top of the uh, open promenade, so that's fine. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add the inside corridors, and we're going to I'm going to work on the left-hand side. So we'll go to the left front, front, uh, left front of the uh, open promenade, and we're going to go from the top block up here or one block down from that, so down to the second block down from the top. And we're going to count four blocks forward, so this block here, one, two, three, four, and then we build uh, one, two, three, four inwards in quartz. So, no, build in five, sorry, so build in five like so, so one, two, three, four, uh, five, like so, and then build that to four blocks high. Like so, and it should look something like that. I just double check it on the prototype because I want to <laughs> make sure I get this right. So, <clears throat> pop down to here, and it was one, two, three, four, yeah, five in, and then build it to four blocks high. So that's fine. <sighs> just want to make sure. So, there we go. <clears throat> so, we've got the uh, yeah, four forward, four, uh, five in, four blocks high, like so. And then from this bottom block down towards the stern, you're going to build a line of blocks. 145 blocks long, so I shall use world edit, or not world edit, but I measure as I go along. So 145 blocks long, so I measure as I go along. And everything should be fine. Oh, missed one. Damn it again. So how far is that? That is 101, so a little bit further. Oop, missed one. And that is 125. 142, 143, 144, 145. So there we are. That's 145 like that. And then build across two and then increase that all to four blocks high. Like so. And then the same with the straight line, just increase that to four blocks high as well. So front to back or back to front, whichever way you're going. Increase that to four blocks high. And we do set uh, quartz for that. And there we go. That's the inside corridor of one side done. Now, remember, these are only basic corridors. I mean, if you've got the proper deck plans for the Campania, then these these um, corridors are going to be wrong. The corridors are there, but there's more detail inside. There'll be proper rooms and uh, proper walkways and things. These are just sort of uh, stud walls, basically. So, um, yeah, if you've got the proper deck plans then you'll be able to do a better job than this, but uh, that's how it is for the moment. So that is the uh, corridor on one side done. I shall do a quick copy paste to get the other side done. So I should copy from down here and then up to the other one. So just get both sides out of the way. <coughs> and I shall go to the stern and copy from there. So we shall go. Uh, I'll do the copy again, so we'll do uh, copy and then flip to the right and then we paste. And there we go, and that's both corridors done on both sides. And uh, it should look something like that. And it don't look too bad. Now as before, if you look on the prototype you can see 
doors and windows on the product on the uh, open promenade so I just fly down to that and if you're familiar with what I normally do it's a random placing of doors and windows normally I put you know say a dozen windows followed by a pair of doors then another dozen windows followed by a pair of doors and so on you sort of get the idea they're not accurate to the real thing but you know it's just a, a basic layout if you want to copy that then by all means there's nothing really special I do the first few windows I may as well so I should get a window block and a door as well always handy to have one of those so at the front of the corridor we'll add a pair of doors here for access and then we'll add a first few windows so one two so I, I normally put the windows two blocks apart so that's one two three four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll add a pair of doors. And then another ten windows. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and then another pair of doors and you get the idea of how this is going to be so you just carry on doing the same thing down to the end of the corridor and you should have a mess basically <laughs> and it should look something like that anyway what we're going to do now is between the two sections of the open promenade where the deck or where the hull drops in height uh, we're going to start at the front here we're going to go to the top block of the open promenade so the top block here where the hull drops we're going to add a line of blocks going from the top here all the way to the back end down there. And I have I don't know exactly how many blocks this is. So I'm just going to copy the contours of the ship. So I'm just going to build a line and uh, measure it as I go along. So that's the first block. So I shall build a line and measure it and then sort of go from there. So just build all the way back first. Ooh, missed one. And that is up to there so I'd say build say put 127 blocks in like so um, hang on, I'm just going to prototype a second uh, I'm actually go a bit further than that yeah I'd say go even further go right out to the end of the uh, open promenade so don't 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 uh, take note of what I just said numbers wise we're going to go all the way back and connect to the open promenade at the front at the back there sorry there we go so that goes from the front of the open promenade all the way to the back end and that line in total is 139 so just go just a straight line basically to connect to the open promenade at the back and it should look something like that and that's where the deck will sit as well so I'll worry about that in a moment so I'll do the same the other side <coughs> and hopefully everything will work out properly hey so from the top at the front here Build the line. Actually, I measure it again because it should be one three nine. So I just build it and connect it all the way to the back end. And connect it to there, and then the the line is 139 and it should be okay so that is absolutely fine and when we come to add the deck the deck will sit along this line so you add the deck against that line and the deck will sit on top of the inside walls like so so that is how that should be so what we're going to do now is go start from the back of the ship and start from the stern and we're going to add the deck so add go from the center block here at the very top of the hull then we'll add the block, add the add the deck along the top of the hull. So not over the top, but to, along the top. So it's the same height as the hull. And you just build this deck all the way to the front, and it should all be fine. So I shall stand here and use the fill tool. So this should go all the way forward. So we go fill uh, words by three million, and it should go all the way forward and everything should be fine. So this may take a while because of course it's welded it and everything fucks up whenever I do anything. Oh no, that's quick. There we go, so there we are. That is the deck filled in at the stern. 
I'm going to fly forward and the deck is filled in in the corridor areas. You can see in here you've got the open promenade here and that looks fine. And we'll just fly all the way forward to make sure the deck has gone all the way to the tip of the bow. <clears throat> and by the looks of it, it has. So that is absolutely fine. So we've got the hull of the ship plus two decks done. And uh, the ship is definitely taking shape, so that is absolutely fine. And as before, remember, if you're going to be building this as part of a downloadable project or a video on YouTube, then don't forget to leave credit for the design. That is all I ask. Uh, so yeah, that is the uh, hull done. And uh, that's pretty much it for part two. So uh, for part three, we'll, be we'll begin the superstructure of the ship. Uh, might be able to get all the superstructure done because it's only a basic superstructure. So we'll have to see on that one. So... Um, yeah, we'll make a start with the superstructure. So that'll be for part three. Uh, so yeah, so this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And uh, I'm leaving it there. So um, yeah, bye for now.